Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jen. I'm a 2023 destination wedding bride. I got married on February 2nd, 2023 at Dreams Playa Mujeres in Cancun, Mexico. And I know I like I say this like literally every video, but I absolutely loved every single part about my wedding, about the resort, just about the entire process. Today I wanted to talk about something that I added kind of last minute. So I, um, when I first signed up for where, you know, you sign the contract, you send in the deposit, they send you the budget planner and a couple catalogs, but there's also a Facebook group. It's called, I think it's called brides and grooms of dreams, Playa Mahares. Um, and I had joined the Facebook group and I had seen these other catalogs. Uh, I think her name is Autumn who runs the Facebook group. I'm not sure. I know she was a, um, she was definitely a bride that, uh, previously got married at dreams, but I'm not sure if like, she's like a travel agent now, or she just started the group kind of like what I'm doing to help <laughs> other future brides. Um, but anyway, so I, I went in there and I was looking at all the catalogs. Um, and originally I was going to book the fire dancers for entertainment during the wedding. And I had put it in my budget planner and about, I want to say two weeks before we left. Was it two weeks? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was two weeks before we left. I was talking to a bride that had gotten married. I, th I want to say it was like a year ago, a year from, um, my date. And we were talking and I was like asking her all of these questions. And she said that she did the water drum show. Um, and the reason she chose that was because she had also talked to another bride and the bride had basically said that the fire dancers are kind of like, you'll see them throughout the resort at different like events. Um, which I, I do agree with her. That does happen. I, um, the welcome dinner that I had, we, there was, it just so happened that there was like this big, like barbecue, like show thing in the middle, um, of the resort at the central garden and they had fire dancers. So I, um, I was, and she was like, listen, you're going to see them. Like you won't really see the water drum show. So we chose the water drum show. She's like, honestly, it was great because, um, it was interactive and, and, you know, so I looked at the catalog and, at that time, um, the price, uh, between the water drum show and the fire dancers was very similar. I, I, I don't remember the exact number, but it was very similar. So we decided that we were going to add the water drum show instead of the fire dancers. Now there was an option to do both. Um, but I was already upgrading uh, in a lot of things. So we just decided against doing the fire dancers altogether. I realized that the reception was really only three hours essentially. And I really wanted to utilize all of the time that I could. So we, there were a couple different things that I did differently for my reception because I, like I said, I wanted to utilize all of the time. So we did not do announcements. Um, we quickly did a first dance. We did, uh, bride and dad dance. We did, um, my husband and his mom's dance we had two speeches and that was it. It was the maid of honor and the, um, best man. And then we had dinner and then I, then we had the water drum show. Um, and I thought it was absolutely amazing. So they had us sit kind of close, um, and they come out with like whistles and no, we didn't really tell anyone what we were doing. So they did this, like, it's like, it has lights and he obviously has water and he does this like whole show. Um, it was two people and they do it to music and I'll, you know, put up pictures and video because honestly it was just like, it was like so awesome. <laughs> and then, um, they brought my husband and myself up to like bang on the drums and then it was like interactive. So they took the mallets, I guess that's what they're called. Um, and they started bringing them out to people. And then that's what kind of got everyone up out of their seat, which was really cool. And then, then that's like kind of what opened up the dance floor. So that was my envision for having the water drum show is that we could kind of get people up out of their seats and then get everyone onto the dance floor because I had upgraded the dance floor. It was light up. I really want to, I'm really, I'm a big fan of lights. Like I love the, um, like I love like 
all the different colors and like just like the I wanted the dance floor to change colors. I also wanted what are they called? Like the overhead light type things. Um I this is probably why I, why I like Trans Siberian I Orchestra, but <laughs> but like I really wanted just like the whole night to feel like a party, um, which I really think that the water drum show did that. Now I did end up because we stayed for our honeymoon after everyone left. Um we one night we had gone to dinner and we were coming back. And just keep in mind, if you are getting married to dreams, like there is no like I don't want to say there's no privacy, right? Like at any of the, uh, like the locations. So like whether you're in their central garden or you're at the mermaid terrace or you're at the pool deck or like even on the beach, like there's not really any privacy, which is fine for me. I, that doesn't bother me, honestly. And it's not like people are intruding. Um, no one's going to crash your wedding. I've had a couple brides reach out and say that. Um, but yeah, you get to watch the show, right? So, and so we were actually walking back from dinner and someone did have the fire dancers instead of the water drum show. And we watched the fire dancers from like a couple, you know, I mean, we weren't part of the wedding or anything, but it was just like a nice little show to watch. Um, and then like, for example, if you get fireworks, uh, just know the entire resort knows it. <laughs> the entire resort gets a show. Uh, actually the night of my, was it my welcome dinner? We, um, because our room was right on the beach, we actually got front row to a fireworks show. So yeah, I mean, there's so many different, um, shows going on. So, uh, but everyone is very respectful at the same time. So don't worry about that. But back to what I was saying, uh, the water drum show, I think is 150% worth it if you can swing it. And they were really great about it. They like, it's like a well-oiled machine. They know exactly when to come out. They know exactly when, what they're doing. Um, they bring everyone up. And I think that the, it made for a great, the great pictures and a great video. And honestly, people keep talking about <laughs> the water drum show, which is crazy. Um, I don't think anyone was expecting it. And I think that's why everyone was talking about it. Um, but like, there's, like I said, there's still people to this day that, bring up our wedding and say it was like the best wedding that they've ever been to. So if you can swing those things, I 100% recommend it. If you have any questions about the water drum show, I don't remember how much it was. Honestly, it's in my budget planner. So I could always go back and look, just know that you see a price and then there's like a service fee and then there's like tax and stuff like that. Um, and I'm sure the price has gone up <laughs> just like everything else, but I can look back to see how much it was. Um, and if you have any questions about it, but I think I've basically answered everything. I would recommend doing it if you can swing it. If you can't swing it, just know that if you are staying for your honeymoon, you'll be able to see it again. Just like a couple of other things that I added on, you'll be able to see it again. <laughs> um, if you have any specific questions, if there's something that you're wondering about the resort, there's something that you are wondering about destination wedding planning, how to plan a destination wedding, how to budget for a destination wedding, where to start. I have plenty of videos and I am continuing to make videos, but if you have a specific question that you would like a video on, please let me know down in the comment section below, or you can send me an email or find me on any social media platform. I really hope that this video helped. If it did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next one.